Hey everyone, this is MOSFET, your simple tech news update. Merry Christmas. Starting off this week with some very interesting brain-computer interface news, researchers from the University of Technology Sydney have developed a new non-invasive system that can decode silent thoughts and turn them into text. Continuing on from their previous work which enabled soldiers in the Australian Army to control robots with their thoughts, the group has further developed their graphene-based sensors, this time combining them with their own AI model which translates EEG signals into words and sentences by learning from large quantities of EEG data. When compared to other methods like invasive brain implants or MRI brain scans, the team says this may be both more useful due to its non-invasive and portable nature, and more universally capable of decoding brain signals due to the AI noticing patterns, even when brainwaves may differ between individuals. In other news, an AI is starting to be used in all sorts of other arenas, including the oceans. The Hydrus by Advanced Navigation is one such system. This underwater autonomous robot is designed to map the floor and other structures under the sea and is an alternative to big, bulky tethered systems. The little machine can travel 9 kilometers, including 3 kilometers deep. It runs autonomously for 3 hours and has an onboard AI vision system enabling it to record and analyze different things, say, like a reef or a piece of underwater infrastructure. All navigation is done by sonar, since you can't get internet or GPS signals deep down, and it has an interesting acoustic modem for communicating with ships above. In similar news, another company, Saronic, recently announced they successfully raised a further $55 million to develop their autonomous surface vessels. Their range of small autonomous boats are designed for maritime missions and can be launched from beachheads, other boats or even airdrop directly into action, and once on the water, swarms of them work together to identify and track targets, as well as surveil large areas. Not only the seas, but the skies are being occupied more and more with their own autonomous craft too. This time, Andril, the defence company founded by Oculus creator Palmer Lucky, recently unveiled their Roadrunner Twin Turbojet VTOL autonomous air vehicle. These interceptors can rapidly launch, identify and target a range of fast-moving objects fully autonomously. The bots can even loiter in the skies and land again if they're not needed anymore. Another week, and another generative AI text-to-video model has been announced, this time by Google. Dubbed Video Poet, this model includes many of the standard features we've been seeing a lot lately, including text-to-video, image-to-video, video editing, stylization and in-painting of existing videos. Looks like video production and editing is another industry that's going to be massively impacted by this stuff. In other news, Microsoft has added the ability to generate songs directly in Microsoft Copilot. The company partnered with the AI generator Suno, so users of Copilot can now use text inputs to generate full songs with fully customizable lyrics, instrumentals, genre choice and singing voices. It's crazy to hear how good the output for this is, then realize that we are only at the super early stages of such technology. Switching gears and a sweet open source project I came across this week was the Zero Writer, which is a Raspberry Pi based distraction free word processor, complete with 40% mechanical keyboard and e-ink display. It's basically an easy beginner DIY alternative to the FreeWrite or Pomera typewriter computers you may know of. All the files and setup instructions are on the Zero Writer's GitHub page. I'd love to make a super slim version of this. Moving back to automation, and there are even more robots working their way into different areas of life. The Osmo by Skyline Robotics is an automated window washing robot designed for cleaning skyscrapers, and according to them, it can work three times faster than humans. The company recently raised a further $10 million to expand the deployment of Osmo robots in New York City and London. Geek Plus also launched the world's tallest warehouse retrieval robot a couple months ago. This warehouse automation system is 40 foot high and has apparently already been installed at some major global retailers according to them. If you've ever wondered how large e-commerce sites can continually shift enormous volumes of product, it's by using systems like this which store and retrieve items, automatically picking the most efficient routes, and delivering everything up to human workers for further processing. And ending this week with a couple different approaches to autonomous agriculture robotics. Firstly, Guardian Agriculture announced they are the first company to begin commercial operations for their crop spraying drones, deploying to four different farms in California. The company says their drones can work autonomously across fields and don't use as much chemicals as regular crop dusting systems. Similarly, Greenfield Robotics announced that fast food chain Chipotle have invested in their own farm bots. Using a different no chemical strategy to the drones, these bots work in swarms day and night, rolling across fields, using their onboard AI vision system to identify, then automatically snip weeds to stop them becoming problems for crops. Cool. Alright, that's it for this week. 
Just wanted to say Merry Christmas and I wish all the best to you and your families. Thanks for watching the videos this year. Bye.